Before getting too deep into this course, I just want to take a few moments to explain a couple of things. And the first thing is module positions. Module positions allow you to put different things on different sections of the template. For example, this template here, you notice you have popular tags, you have latest article, you have login form. All of these are different module positions. In other words, you can put in text, you can put in videos, you can put in links, you can put in a variety of different things in this module positions. And that's very important to know uh, where they're located so that way you know exactly what you can put there or where you can or cannot put things. So to know where this module positions are called or where they're located, from the admin panel you go to extensions, you go to template manager. From the template manager, you notice that you have options of different templates to select here. Now, there are two different types of templates that you have here. First, you have the admin template, which is the back end, and you have the front end template, which is this one. This is the front end template, and this is the back end. And the way that you set a default template or know which one is the default is when you see this column here that says default, whichever one has the yellow star, that is the default template for either the front end or the back end. And if you notice here in this left hand column, you have the styles and you have the templates. So what you want to do is you have to click on um, either one of these to just, you know, see what they look like. But we're not going to do that for now. What we want to do is we want to know what positions these are and to also look at the other positions that are part of this template. So you click on options. The options gives you two tabs here. You have the templates and the permission. Let's just focus on the templates for now. Where it says preview module positions, you have enable and you have disable. What you need to do is you need to click on enable, save and close. Okay, once you've enabled that particular template, you notice now that you have this little eye here. All the front end templates are going to have this here. That means that if you click on this link, it's going to show you all the different module positions of this template. So let's click on this eye. You'll notice that you have different sections here in red. And all the sections that you see in red are the different module positions. That means that you can put different uh, text, uh, different items on this positions here. So in this section, you have the banner, you have the position eight, you have the position seven, you have the position zero. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you have two more here. So it's very important that you understand where your module positions are. Now, because this is the default template, you know, there are just a few positions. But if you if you have a premium theme, some of them have up to 78 different module positions to give you a lot more flexibility um, for where you can put things. But this one is, is very basic and straight to the point. You know, it's really perfect for what we need. So everything here on the right section is on position seven. So whenever you put some, in order for you to put something in this right section, you have to put it in the position seven. Now, where and how do you get to the position seven or how do you put things there? Well, let me go back here on the back end. You go to extensions and you want to click on module manager. The module manager, this is where you can add new modules. And as you can see here from this map, this uh, module position map, you have position zero, you have uh, position seven. So when you look to the correspondence here, the position here, you see zero, you see one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, and seven here. So let's take, for example, the popular tags. That is in position seven, which is here, popular tags. And if you notice too, you have this filter section here. The filter allows you to locate things much easier. You know, when you get started with Joomla, it's very basic, but as you grow and you learn more things, then you want to be able to implement a lot more. So what this filter here in the corner does is it allows you to make different options. For example, you can choose to uh, select only the modules that are published 
you can choose to select the positions that you want to see. So for example, if I wanted to locate something that was in position seven, let's say I had about 20 different module uh, items here, and I didn't want to go through each one to locate a specific one. There are two ways you can do that. The first way is for you to type in the particular module title. So for example, if I wanted to locate popular tags, and I had about 20 or 30 different modules here, I would just type in popular. I can put in everything or you can just put in just the first word. And you notice it shows you popular tags and you can just click X to clear it. And then you have where the type is it, you know, uh, HTML and you know, all those um, or just different options you can use to locate it. And then you have here, of course, access and language. So those are the two ways, which is for by typing it in or by searching for the position here. Since this is in position seven, if I choose position seven, it's going to pull up only the items that are in the module position seven. So click on position seven. And as you notice here, the position shows up the type the pages, the access, and the language. So what we're looking at right now is the positions. All these are in position seven. So it's really important that you understand how module positions work because we're going to be using these in this course. Since we're creating a classifieds website, we're going to be utilizing this right hand uh, column here for you know new submissions, you know ads and links, and things like that.